Genetic resources was the focus, was the theme of this IGC session, IGC 30, that took place last week, May 30 to June 3, under the chairmanship of Ian Goss from Australia, and they're very ably supported by his two vice chairs, UK leaders from Finland and uh, Ambassador Michael Tenner from Indonesia. The IGC worked in plenary and in informals, and with the assistance of two facilitators, uh, one from Mozambique and one from Mexico, the session first produced one revision of the basic text that had existed at the outset of the session, and then a second version was produced at the end of the meeting. And this uh, second version has now been transmitted to IGC 34, taking place in 2017. It was not adopted, but simply noted and transmitted. Now, why IGC 34? Because we've just had the 30th session, and that is because IGC 34, which will take place in about a year's time, will take stock on all the three themes of the IGC. It's a, it's a stock-taking session. The uh, session may therefore be regarded as, as being positive, because it succeeded in developing a second draft of the main text and transmitting it to the, next, to the 34th session. There's one other thing I'd like to mention, and that is the Indigenous panel. Uh, I thought it was a very good panel uh, this session. I would recommend uh, viewers to watch the keynote address by Dr. Aroa Mead from New Zealand, which was excellent. But I would say that a cause for concern is that Indigenous participation in the IGC is falling off. And this is something that I think member states need to think about, and we all need to think about carefully. The next session of the IGC takes place in September. Uh, September 19 to 23 and look forward to seeing you all then.